Hi, I'm Valerie with Now Gardening, and today I'm here to talk about how to recognize aphids on your plants, what works and doesn't work to control them, and what I use to organically treat aphids in my own garden. But first, if you haven't done so already, please click on that subscribe button down below so we can grow together. Now let's get started. Aphids are also known as plant lice. Now if that doesn't make you want to get rid of them, here are three other things that will. Aphids suck the sap from new leaves, causing them to curl, yellow, and drop. Aphids transmit viruses and other fungal infections from one plant to another. And aphids secrete honeydew, which accumulates on the leaves and causes a sooty mold to develop on it. So what do aphids look like and how to recognize them on your plant? Well, they come in various colors, ranging from a light pink to a deep black. Some are winged, while others are wingless and are transported from place to place and plant to plant via ants. These ants have a symbiotic relationship with the aphids. They provide the transport from one place to the other, and meanwhile the aphids produce a sweet honeydew that the ants like to eat. Another way to recognize aphids is by the effect that they're having on your plant. If you suddenly notice that you're starting to have some curled up leaves on your plant, if you open up that curled leaf, a lot of the times you'll find aphids hiding underneath. Fungus or rust starting to grow on your plant, check for aphids. A suspicious number of ants suddenly hanging out around your plant, check for aphids. Moving on, now if you know you have aphids, how do you control them? Well, here are some of the options that are listed online for organic pest control. For one, squash the aphids by hand. Number two, blast them off with water. Number three, introduce natural predators. Number four, cover your plants. Number five, spray soapy water. Now I've tried all of these at one time or another, and here is my take on them. Number one, the squash them by hand method. Now this is, as you can imagine, very time consuming. It's fine if you have a couple of plants that happen to have a couple of aphids on them and you can just see those right away and you can squish them and kill them. Obviously it's not going to work for a large aphid infestation. Number two, which was blasting them with water. Well, this sounds like a great idea. It sounds very easy, right? Except that typically the aphids don't just fall off. You really need to blast them with a heavy, heavy jet of water. Imagine you're blasting a spinach plant or a bean plant. The damage you cause is gonna be more than just the damage to the aphids. It's also gonna be the damage to your plant. So number three, which was introducing natural predators. Well, that's great as a long-term strategy, but it's not gonna help you one day if suddenly you wake up and you have a lot of aphids in your garden. A lot of the things you'll read online say, put ladybugs in your garden or put flowers there that attract ladybugs and things like that. But ladybugs fly off. They're not just gonna sit on your plant and eat the aphids. But the other thing that you also see recommended online is that you introduce ladybug larvae. Use a tweezer and take and put the individual larva on the tree or on the bush. It's just not the most practical thing, and I have not had a lot of success with that personally. Number four was to cover your plants, and this would work in a small garden kind of area. Maybe you just have one small row of plants, like my spinach in my raised bed that's under attack, and I could actually devise something to cover them up. But if you're talking about your rose bushes or your elderberry bushes that are behind me, obviously you're not gonna be able to cover them up, so you're gonna have to find another solution. Which leads us to number five, which is the soapy water. And a lot of people will actually say, take water, put some little drops of soap in it and then you can spray that that will suffocate the aphids and voila you no more aphids absolutely has not been the case for me maybe i've just got some super strong aphids I'm not really sure but definitely has not worked for me so what do i use to organically treat aphids in my garden and what have i found to be the most effective well for me over time what i've developed is kind of a two-part solution and that is not only to treat the aphids but to also treat the fungus and the bacteria that they may have caused on the plants i add 500 grams of garlic which is equal to about eight heads of garlic. And I place those in a pot of water and I leave them to boil. When the garlic softens, I let the mixture cool down and then I add it to my garden sprayer, filtering it first. Last, I add black soap following the instructions on the container. And now my mixture is ready to go. Unfortunately, when it comes to aphids, there is no one and done solution, at least not from an organic standpoint. You will have to apply this every few days in the beginning when you first start to notice aphids. Also have to apply it after the rain. I've found this to be highly effective and lethal. You will literally see the aphids start squirming and then they'll be dead within a few minutes. When you first see aphids, you do need to apply something, whether it's this or something else that you decide to do, you do need to get on it immediately because they multiply so quickly 
and with the ants helping them, if you can imagine, it just, it gets out of control very, very quickly. I'm gonna show you a clip of two different elderberry bushes. One I treated early in the season when I first started seeing ants putting aphids up onto the bush. And the second one, I saw the ants were there, I saw the aphids were starting to develop, but I didn't do anything. And you will see the huge, huge difference the matter of one month has made between the two different bushes. I hope to see you next time, bye.